We woke up at 3 a.m. and left the house at 4 a.m. And this is why. Today we are doing a day trip to Portland in the Columbia River Gorge. I'm doing day trips to this area. It's about a three hour drive from Seattle, so it makes for a long day trip and people tend to think we're a little crazy for driving so much in one day, but we save a lot of money on eating out and lodging doing it this way, which makes it a really budget friendly way to go explore. The weather forecast today said it was going to be all sunny, so we thought it'd be a perfect morning to come out for a sunrise here at Chanticleer Point. We have a couple more stops along the Columbia River Gorge before we head to Portland for the rest of the day. Should be a really fun day. We are at La Terrell Falls, which is just down the street from our last stop. Last summer, the Eagle Creek Fire happened, which has made a lot of stops along the Columbia River Gorge inaccessible. So even a year later, you still can't hike on many of the trails. So this is one of the few spots that's still open. of La Terrell Falls. If you start from the parking lot and follow the path that goes behind the main falls, uh, it'll take you on a path that leads you up to this double decker here. And uh, you can go actually behind the waterfall and everything. It's pretty cool. We're about to go check that out right now. definitely exceeded our expectations. We knew it would be cool, but we didn't realize there'd be a lower and an upper falls, and we didn't realize the trail would be so pretty. It's super easy. It's around two miles round trip. I did it in vans, which I don't really recommend, but it worked. Um, not too much elevation gain, and the waterfalls are really beautiful. There are many waterfalls along the Columbia River Gorge. And this one might be the most famous. Sugar Pine Drive-In. It's on the Columbia River Gorge. We've been wanting to come here for a few months now. They just opened in July. It's a cute little drive-in where you can order sandwiches and custards and things like that. Um, I got the tri-tip sandwich with au jus here. I'm so pumped to try this. It's gonna be delicious. So good. Meat's good. Mm. And I got the fall sugar pine salad, which is loaded with veggies and this like couscous, quinoa thing. Um, 
which is really beautiful. There's a bunch of like greenery on the top. It's probably the prettiest salad I've ever had. And I got tri-tip on it too. Mmm. That is really good. I think it's the meat. It's really smoky. Ooh, that's delicious. Best salad I've ever had. That was the bomb. Oh yeah. Very, very good. If you're ever on the Columbia River Gorge or near Troutdale, Oregon, definitely stop by Sugar Pine Drive-In. We highly, highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very good. Delicious sandwich, uh, good ingredients, little pricey for, for what you get, but high quality ingredients. Sandwich was bomb, salad looked bomb. It's very uh, good. <laughs> they have awesome looking ice creams that uh, we are definitely going to partake in next time. So. Next time, we're about to eat everything in sight in Hawaii, so we figured we should be good this one time, but we will be back. We will be back. Good Coffee, which is a coffee shop I've been wanting to try for a very long time. We're at their Northwest Portland location, which is a really cool area. We've never been over here. It's very new and clean and, I don't know, very nice and modern. Um, we got the Marionberry Cacao Latte. So I'm about to give it my first sip. Oh, that's good. We're at Forest Park. We've been to Portland many times, but we've never been to this park, so we're really excited. Uh, we're gonna do a little short walk through the park. It's a, actually a really big park. We're gonna walk to this stone house. I'm not really sure the name of it, but we'll show you when we get there. <laughs> We love coming to Portland. Every time we come here, we have so much fun. Yeah, it reminds us a lot of Austin because of the really good food, a small town feel, and they pride themselves on being a little weird. Yeah, a little weird. <laughs> keep, keep Portland weird is the phrase. Yeah. Um, it also reminds us a lot of Seattle because of all the outdoor activities. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds, our old home and our new home. Um, and now we're gonna show you our favorite view of the city. Yeah. The mountain looks awesome. We're at the Piddick Mansion, which is this beautiful mansion overlooking the city of Portland. Um, to access the mansion, you have to pay because it's a museum, but to go to the viewpoint, which we just did, was 100% free, which is a huge perk. Um, we kind of equate this to the Cary Park of Portland. It gets a lot of people overlooking the city. And today it was absolutely beautiful because Mount Hood is totally out. The colors of the trees are beautiful and the lighting's awesome. So definitely our best visit so far. We are finishing up our day trip to Portland here at Cathedral Park under St. John's Bridge. 
just to put a day trip like this into perspective um, besides paying for gas all we paid for was just lunch and coffee so it was around 40 bucks so doing a day trip like this can be really budget friendly um, and we spent about nine hours here and we were able to see a lot in one day so we were able to do a lot and not spend that much money which is pretty awesome uh, we will link everywhere we went to in the description below as well as put the link to our weekend in Portland guide which hits up a lot of the spots we went to today uh, we hope you guys enjoyed watching our day trip to Portland and the Columbia River Gorge yeah keep an eye out for our next adventure it's gonna be somewhere nice and tropical oh, yeah <laughs> had my gum better my dad says I chew gum too much in our videos, so now I can't chew gum anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. To the Columbia River Gorge in Portland today. It's so hard to say. <laughs> a day trip to the Columbia River Gorge in Portland today. I can't say it any better than that. We're doing a day trip to Portland and the Columbia River Gorge today. <laughs> I like my lunch gross.